So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on the act man reacting to the quantum TV situation. Legal claims got put forward and this whole situation basically became a very big deal within the YouTube community. Everything that you're about to see is my reaction to the situation, to what his latest video. Please be aware, it is a very long video. It is going to be more than two hours long. So make sure you go get yourself a drink. Make sure you go get yourself something to eat. Um, feel free to pause the video whenever you want. I'm going to be editing this over the next couple of di next day or two. I want this to be highest possible quality possible, given the situation. Um, links down in the description below. I would normally watch this on stream, however, because I don't want to watch this on stream, I want to give you my genuine reaction without any input. I felt like this is the best way forward. Um, subscribe. Thank you for 1K, by the way. Um, I will see you again when he releases his next video. I will be trying to work on some other things as well. Been dealing with mental health things recently. Um, enjoy the video. Happy Pride Month. And I will see you guys in the next video. Probably. Hopefully. See you then. These are dark times where the law has been reduced to rubble. And it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. Yeah, I know what you mean. It looks like YouTube finally decided where they stand. Axman always comes forward with a high level with his production. I genuinely admire that. A lot of creators I know just genuinely do what they would declare to be the bare minimum to get by. And uh, yeah, I love the fact that the Axman does this. Like no, no other creator I know does this. I, I mean, there's a few, but he genuinely goes all in with every production. It's so cool. Yeah. It's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. Going with the halo? He means business. Hand pocket. I have never seen someone open a door so fucking dramatically. Holy shit. Act man, please stop. I can only get so moist. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This What's is up? the Act Attorney here. And a lot has happened since we last spoke regarding Quantum TV. No doubt many of you are curious what's been happening behind the scenes and if I plan to make good on my promise of getting his channel rightfully terminated. Spoilers, I do. I was in talks with people at YouTube for over a month and I didn't want to reveal anything until this video was close to completion. Actually, him doing that is the correct thing to do. Did you know that within... Uh, the United States, if you state that you have put forward a complaint or a legal complaint, um, that legal complaint um, near enough becomes null and void. In the situation where you are going through law to do something, do not announce that you're doing something. Just don't. Just make the, just, just go through forward with it. And only reveal that it's when it happens. Don't just be like, call the police. And then be like, I called the police on you for doing this. Because that's how idiots delete or remove evidence. I can now confirm, after conducting a thorough investigation, that YouTube has officially found Quantum TV completely innocent. What? They decided he had violated no community guidelines. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair.
and also found that his numerous copyright claims and takedowns were considered a fair request for review, meaning YouTube believed he had a fair reason to file them. We'll get to why all of this is complete later. There is literally a 100% chance he gets his channel deleted. Like, I, I don't even think it's 99. I feel like this is a guarantee. I thought so. I very much agree with Zach. At the end of the fucking day, he has said things on his platform, on, on this platform, which do not paint him in good light. He is a shit example of a human being on this platform. If anyone basically supports him, they are part of the problem. It is Pride Month, and this man has caught, said multiple times he wishes death upon the LGBT community. He wished people to be a pulse victim. It is gay season, and they are supporting a homophobe. Do you see the bullshit? So too, Osman. I thought so too. It is a grim day for us all as we now enter the dark age of YouTube. I've never felt more disgusted or ashamed of this website, particularly the teams in charge of copyright and community guidelines. So many people have been threatened and harassed and bullied by this guy who's been doing this for four years. The false takedowns, the hate speech. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that today, justice will not be served for justice has no place on YouTube anymore. I think it's time I hang up my coat and stop fooling around with this lawyer business. You know, let's face it, we lost. I mean, I'm kind of abused by this, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's funny. You guys literally sound like abuse victims. He abused the copyright system. He abused the copyright system, wished death upon people, harassed children, Doxed family. Do you want to know why? It. Do you want to know why the situation of him calling Actman's mother is regarded as a threat? Because she found found his behaviour threatening. It's not because he doxed them. It's not for the words he said. She was the person who received the call, and she felt like she was being threatened. Yet somehow. Doxing is apparently fine with YouTube. There's nothing a problem. It's off platform. It's fine. It's a legal matter. It's a fucking legal matter, and you basically saw evidence that is usable in court. I just went, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. At the end of the day, go play something. L plus ratio plus maidenless. Objection! Look at you, you're pathetic! Who, who said that? Me, Mudahar here. Who else? Yo, they seemed up! I can't believe you're just gonna sit there cowering and sniveling in a corner. Are you a lawyer or just a big ol' pussy? I love Muda. I literally, I, I'm not gonna fucking lie. I am not gonna fucking lie. If I was from the big ol' Canada, I, I I probably stalk the fucker. He is so charismatic and amazing. I do not. I will not. I I please do not. I will not. I will not stalk him. I just find that if I ever met him, I would probably be like very, very <sighs> with him. I don't know what it is about Muda. He's so smart. He's so smart. He's intelligent. He's charismatic. I swear he could start a cult, and I won't give a shit. I would. I would. I would allow him. I would be part of his cult. I. I'm the act attorney. Well, it's not over. Act attorney, not by a long shot. Wipe those tears because the only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. You're, you're right, Mudahar. You're goddamn right I'm right. Unless you're Amber Heard's lawyer, you are not allowed to cry until it's all over. Because your client shat the bed. Listen, don't you hear them? Those voices out there crying for justice? I support you, Actman. No love for copyright abuse here. 
And when are we playing Elden Ring? Just get on your Xbox. I know you have one. Act man, you know what I'd love more than my brand new silver play button? Seeing Quantum TV get banned again. I cannot wait to see this guy get banned for being a copyright abusing bitch. The birds and I support you, Act Man, in your quest to get Quantum TV removed from YouTube. It would be a better place without him. Bitch, you were reviewed. You got reviewed. All right. The internet is with the axe man. Those who know this platform better than most say act man is correct. I'm sorry, YouTube. You may run this system, but you are blind to its problems. I'm sorry, you thinking that slapping a pride flag on your website is proud pride enough doesn't matter for the fact that you suppress LGBT content. It doesn't matter that you basically go out of your way to literally allow porn on this website. It doesn't matter about so much of this shit when the creators of this caliber are all screaming and shouting, the bitch did wrong. Me thinks the bitch did wrong. And so, because of the danger that he poses to the channels of other creators, and his threats made to the families of his critics, I do not think that Quantum TV belongs on YouTube. I will see to it that the hammer of justice is brought down upon the wicked. If YouTube won't do anything to make this a better platform, then the rest of us will. No, this verdict does not mean Quantum TV is innocent. Far from it. In fact, it means something much, much worse. I'm not gonna put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. Through my research, I am able to <laughs> provide undeniable evidence that Quantum TV has violated the following community guidelines on multiple occasions. External links, hate speech, cyberbullying and harassment, additional policies, ban evasion, copyright, harmful or dangerous content, child safety, and spam, deceptive practices, and scams. This whole video will be showing you the proof and- I'm sorry, what? I am sorry. What? So, so here's what's happened. Quantum TV has legitimately looked at the community guidelines and went this pussy shit i'm gonna do, i'm this is just a checklist this is a weekend for me he literally has more or less looked at this shit and gone you know what i'm gonna do it all and also show you how youtube is either unwilling or no longer enforcing these community guidelines and i plan on showing just how wrong they are using youtube's own fucking words and i especially don't condone looking up other content creators personal information don't stoop to quantum's level youtube's decision to not ban quantum was made as a result of three things poor investigation skills, a hands-off approach, and a lack of any common sense whatsoever. I'm making this video not only because it's personal, but because I truly believe in what YouTube is supposed to stand for. Does YouTube side with justice or evil? I suppose we'll find out soon enough. It's like if you're in a group, it is your responsibility to ostracize your own extremists. And that's exactly it is very much true. Guess what? On my Discord, when we have a problem, we acknowledge it, we deal with it, we acknowledge the problem, we confront the problem, we try to correct the problem. The con if the problem persists, then the individual is removed. We take it on my Discord, if you come in and you are nothing but an asshole, you are treated as nothing less than a fucking asshole. You get dealt with correctly. YouTube, you are as bad as your extremist on your platform. You cannot, I, we understand that you cannot police your entire platform. You have problems with volumes. You have too many fish in your pond. However, when an individual, when one of the big fish could turn to you and say, excuse me, Mr. Owner of said pond, 
but the goldfish over there seems to be causing problems for all the fish around it. You know what you then do? You listen to the big fish and you go, hey, that fish over there might be a problem. Let's pay attention to them a bit. Yeah, they're a problem. We're going to remove them. You don't go, now nah, that fish is fine. You don't just blink it and go, eh, it's fine. Remove toxicity before you, in a medical situation, when you have a gangrenous or dead part of your body, if your hand or your arm is dead and it threatens the body, you remove the limb. You do not leave the limb intact. You cut that shit off. Okay? YouTube, do your fucking job. The guidelines are there. They are required to be enforced equally. If the individual is trans, gay, a furry, part of the part of an ethnic community, part of the white community, if they break the rules equally, they are treated equally. If Act Man were to be doing the same shit that Quantum is doing, he would be removed like. Prove me wrong. Charlie did the same. If Asmund did the same, all of these people, if they did the same, you would get rid of them. You would get rid of them in a heartbeat. But because Quantum has chosen to delete his content, remove his content, delete it, he is admitting guilt that he knows what he has done or said is wrong. Just because it is on Twitter, just because it's on his Discord, just because it's on his own private website, does not make it admissible. It is foundationally him admitting he has done a wrong. I don't give a shit if his accounts were hacked back in 2018. They were hacked in 2018. Those messages should have been deleted. Easy. You can purge that shit quick and easy. It is more difficult to delete your Twitter than it is to delete a tweet. It takes multiple steps to delete an account. Yeah, he is more than capable of deleting an account, but it's completely incapable of deleting a tweet. And he has never shown evidence to anyone of him condoning his actions in the past, which is why he is accountable for them to this day. Okay? Quantum, if you see this, prove to us, prove to the world that what you have has been said on your accounts in the past are not your views and your opinion. Prove to us, condone those actions. Or you are guilty of basically confirming to the world that you made those tweets. And you know for a fucking fact you are. Because everyone sees your lies. Everyone sees your bullshit. You are, at this point in time, as bad as Amber Heard on the stage. Changing her story every five minutes. She lost a defamatory case because she lied. Prove to us that you are innocent. Prove to us that you are innocent. Condone the actions of the hacker. Tell them you do not agree with them and they are not your point of view. Otherwise you are basically admitting that you agree to them and you might as well have made those tweets yourself because they were on your account. Shit said on your own website might as well have been, you might as well be admitting to them. Everything can be done simply by condoning the actions. Just do it. Condone the actions. Show evidence of the hack. Show evidence of the hack. Show evidence that you've tried to do everything possible. I know it was back in 2018. I know it's difficult to do so. But seriously, you have never condoned the actions of what was said. 
and everything that they have said has lined up with your own opinions at this point. And learn to condone the actions of individuals in your community. Simple. You are, you can you have the right to free speech, but you do not have the right to avoid the consequences of your freedom of speech. If you start problems, if you start a hate crime, if you if people lose their lives because you said a thing, you are responsible. Prove to the world that you are innocent. Because if you are as squeaky clean as you claim to be, it shouldn't be too difficult now, should it? Exactly what we're trying to do. This guy is an extremist. He's mm -hmm. a nutball. Yep. He's a bozo. Yep. Would you believe that in the copyright abuse video I only shared about 10% of the archives I had on Quantum? I intend to share the rest with you today. So I ask once which more. Which is why it's an hour. Blue pill, red pill. Ah, who, who am I kidding? I know which one you're gonna pick. You're red pilled and based. You can do it too! All rise for the trial of Quantum TV and YouTube versus literally everyone else. Baby, that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Act man, your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Quantum TV is production guilty. quality just took a jump. What the fuck? Multiple offenses, and I intend to prove that he needs to be removed from the platform to maintain its integrity. He I agree. really loves talking like he's some big hot shot that can really do a whole lot. And in the end, it's really just ego. That is a bold claim indeed. But why is it your duty to pursue this if YouTube already has? A fantastic question. I believe Matt Koval, creator liaison for YouTube, should take the stand. Mr. Koval, please testify on YouTube's creator responsibility initiative. As a YouTube creator, you're sometimes seen as a representative of the platform and a member of this giant influential community. It becomes your responsibility, along with every YouTube creator, to help us keep the ecosystem healthy. If the things you do and say as such a representative are really reckless, dangerous, inappropriate, on video or not, you can actually cause damage to YouTube and its millions of creators. Why? I'm sorry, the genuine fact that YouTube said there's nothing wrong and this is on the website proving that this is supposed to be their opinion. This is, this is where our problems are. The, the fact that they looked at the rules and said to Quantum, you play by different rules, you go be you. Why? Because YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. Your Honor, I have no objections to this testimony. I simply believe it is important context for the rest of this video. All this drama has escalated so far beyond what anyone imagined. Fun fact, did you know that when Quantum TV struck Mischief's video, it had 930 views? 930 views. But it got personal when he looked up my family's information, contacted my mother specifically via phone call, and harassed and threatened her. He did all of that despite being capable, more than physically capable. I am capable right now, in this very moment, I'm capable of calling the act man via Discord. I'm capable of doing so. Why the fuck couldn't Quantum? Why did it have to be a phone call? Why couldn't it have been a Discord call? It's because he's aware that he could be recorded and his and everything he said could be held accountable. Is he scared that he's going to be found out? Why did he have to physically call someone with his phone? That makes a zero sense. It makes zero sense. You have access to be able to talk to him via Discord. Easily. This makes no sense. My mother. No. What have you done to her? She can confirm the call he posted was real, although two minutes of it is missing from the start. I'm calling on behalf of Quantum TV. Your son has been making a string of uh, really defamatory posts. Hello, is this Ackman's mother? 
Yeah, this is Quantum TV. Uh, your son's been bullying me online. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to avoid any kind of litigation or lawsuit by talking things out, so... Is there Sorry, any way I can drink. contact you? Your Honor, next I would have two representatives from YouTube testify on their harassment policies. Hi, I'm Michael Grosak, Global Head of Content Policy at YouTube. Is he about to basically prove that YouTube does not, uh, it does condone doxing? Is he about to prove that? I feel like he's about to prove that they, it, it is technically harassment. And I'm Matt Halpern. I'm Vice President, Global Head of Trust and Safety for YouTube. Harassment of anyone affects everyone. Malicious yep. acts are abusive behaviors, and we take these very seriously at YouTube. This means threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. Objection! You say you take malicious acts very seriously at YouTube. If that's the case, then explain the next three minutes of this video. Take that! And, and you don't understand that this level of fanaticism is dangerous. And, and you might end up hurting somebody. You know, you think that this behavior doesn't have consequences. One day, and I'm, I'm making this video because- I reached out to your mother to convey the severity of real world harm. That says to me, Quantum TV genuinely strikes me as a person who basically would walk down the street, see a crack, and then worry that his mother has broken her back. He strikes me as that level of stupid where one email from one lone crazy prick shapes his an entire opinion of an entire community. Hi, uh, sorry to interrupt. I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent, um, so I'm just gonna fast forward this um yeah that should be fine uh carry on with the video have an awesome weekend it's stupid you need to learn to see to treat each individual as an individual not as part of a group because one day maybe you guys might actually get someone killed and i mean that threatening here's the thing what he said there could be seen from two perspectives. Either he feels like he might be being pushed to suicide, in which case I very highly recommend you go to fucking therapy and get yourself some antidepressants. Or he's scared that one of Actman's extreme fans is going to do something to him or his family, in which case he is paranoid, in which case should still go to therapy. <coughs> Sorry. He should still go to therapy because he's clearly paranoid. Or he is literally saying if he if he's literally saying to the act man, if he continues these actions, I will be forced to do harm upon him. Those are the three branches. Either he's mentally unstable or he is threatening violence someone whether it's subtle or obvious hopefully through your actions one day you don't get somebody killed but it crossed the line into harassment when the creator made veiled threats again veiled threats as you guys like to say is not something that we do here on youtube they literally explained it in their videos that veiled threats are a thing i'm a passive aggressive bitch i will say things in a way that basically says Stupid little, I, I'm passive aggressive. I'm, I'm, I'm very much a passive aggressive person. I will do tiny little insults here and there to basically sparkle some humor in here and there. But when I want to threaten someone, I will openly threaten someone. I will, I, I, but I'm not the type of person to threaten someone. Because at the end of the day, that's how I, who I am. That's how I am. But considering Quantum's personality... He strikes me as someone who will very much sit there with a fucking grin on his face being like, we don't want to harm anyone, do we? We don't want to harm anyone. No one, no one wants to be hurt in this situation, do they? No, 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 I'm not threatening you. What are we talking about? I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you the truth. What are you talking about? Are you threatening me? Oh my God, you're threatening. He is a Karen. He is just a male fucking Karen. And he's been called out. He's a male Karen who's been called out. Congratulations. Your YouTube's 
biggest male Karen. You goddamn liar! Malicious acts can also mean threatening someone's privacy. That includes stalking and doxing, which means releasing someone's private or identifying oh! information online. People come to me, they send me all kinds of personal information on you. 90% of it, I have no interest in. The 10% is the world of difference. You want that 10%. I know about all of your family members at this point. I don't care to know that. I that is genuinely a threat. That is genuinely a threat. I know so much. Threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. There's something down there. It's quantum TV. But some people take it too far. They lead to hacking. They lead to real world doxing. I called his mother. Threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. And some of you start doxing and sharing personal information. I called his mother. And then you go even a step further. You find people in real life because how dare they find you in the real world? That's creepy. No, it's not, dude. I called his mother. Stalking and doxing. No, uh Technically speaking, him calling, him calling Quantum's mother is a form of stalking. Technically speaking. Him taking the first step to pick up the phone, dial in her personal number, and hit go and hit call is doxing. Right? Him taking said information and then utilizing it is harassment and stalker behavior. And him calling is admission of doxing. And him portraying this is him admitting to harassment and potential stalker behavior. And considering other information that has come to light on past harassments from Quantum TV, it would not surprise me if he has utilized fake phone calls to harass individuals. Because I guarantee you this is going to come up in the video because there is evidence of that in the past. Uh, malice or anything behind this. And yes, I know your address. Yes, I know your phone number. Yes, I know your mother. Yes, I know your brother, your father, your next of kin. Stalking and doxing. Don't, don't think I'm playing around. I called Ackman's mother to get a hold of him, to let him know the kind someone, of damage he was causing. Whether it's causing, subtle or okay? obvious. I'm not fucking around with this. Threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. If he's available to talk or, 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 you, or you're the guardian for him, I'd imagine. I can see. He is a grown adult. He has no guardian. His next of kin may be his parents or his partner, who he chooses to not put on camera. He is a grown ass man who lives in his own house. Axeman has over a million subscribers. I guarantee you he's making a clean few hundred K a year. He's he's a grown ass man in his own grown ass house. He is not living with his mother. You calling his mother is basically admitting to the world. I'm on YouTube. I make next to no money. I have to live with my parents. I'm I'm a full time YouTuber. I'm I'm a full time YouTuber and a fucking Twitch streamer. Actually, technically, I'm a full time Twitch streamer and a aspiring YouTuber. I'm a full time Twitch streamer. I live with my parents. I make about 1.2k a month. I do not make enough money for me to get my own fucking place right now, considering the economy. I guarantee fucking to you though, Axeman genuinely fucking does make those big boy coin, and gets himself. A good paycheck every month for shit ad revenue. Not to mention sponsorships. Not to mention him when he streams. Not to mention his merch sales. Not to mention many, many, many other things. He's a big boy. He's playing big boy game. He's making big boy coin. He doesn't live with his parents. Why are you assuming he's like 16 years old? Oh wait, that's mischief. Send over a cease and desist letter from my lawyer. And you're literally lying about your mother being threatened to send more people after me. I'd rather not drag a family through the mud given the times and the current status of the world. You understand what I mean? Like we all have families and stuff we're trying to accomplish. So I'm not trying to derail anybody's livelihood. Threatening someone, whether it's subtle or obvious. How many times did I actively ask his mother to pass me off to him? Because truth be told, he assumes Axeman lives with his parents. 
He assumes this. I guarantee you, Ackman does not live with his fucking parents. I guarantee you that. You do not get to a million plus subscribers on YouTube without owning your own place. I fucking guarantee you. Most people who get to about 250k subscribers on YouTube are probably in a financial situation where they can afford to have their own place. If they do things correctly, I guarantee you by 500k subscribers, they could start building their own fucking empires. But Quantum is under the assumption that a person who is 20 times larger than him is in the same financial situation than him. Do you... Do, I, I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm, I guarantee you this, by the time I'm at quantum size, by the time I'm on YouTube at the, the quantum size, I will probably have my own house because I'll be doing shit properly. Quantum's approach is he most likely purchases his views and he purchases subscribers. His growth on YouTube is insanely consistent across the board. Every two, every two days or so, he'll gain about one to 200 subscribers. And it's one to 200 on the dot. Every YouTube video he posts out are roughly five to six minutes long, completely unedited and low levels of pretty much no editing whatsoever with minimum effort. And I guarantee you, he's found the formula of posting two to three videos a day at roughly six to seven minutes long. Six or seven minutes long. For him to make money back off of the bots that he pays for to give him a consistent viewership across all of his videos. I guarantee you he found that ratio and went, I'm making money off of this. Because of the YouTube ad revenue. I'm making a bit of money off of this every month. He's probably spending like six or seven hundred dollars a month. He's probably spending about two to three hundred or six hundred dollars a month and probably making about 1.5k a month from YouTube ad revenue. Literally. That's probably what he's doing. He posts videos extremely consistent. They are low level effort. His stuff, his content is nothing but abrasive towards the stuff he is reviewing. It is uninformative and it is nonsensical to the scene that he's trying to indoctrinate himself into and i the problem i i, I guarantee you this he's purchasing his viewership he has not earned any of it because why would he he's been proven to have done this in the past and his viewership is extremely static for someone who's growing by 100 subscribers every two or three days I, I get it. I, I, I get it. Some people post two or three times in a day, their viewership doesn't go any higher or lower. But then again, who the fuck is looking up every type of TV every other fucking day? They won't. Oh, there's this brand new TV from LG. I'm interested in this because I'm looking for a new TV. Oh wait, Quantum says it's not very good, okay. Oh wait, by his fourth video said it's a good TV. That makes sense now, I'm gonna get this TV. No, you spent four, fu three fucking videos talking about how shit it is, and on the fourth one you said it was good. Make a real review. You spend half of your time take. You've got videos on your past taking the piss out of Linus Tech Tips. Like, genuinely, you got you got videos on the past that can the piss out of Linus Tech Tips on their TV reviews, yet their TV reviews are basically like, new technology just came out, this might be interesting to you, yet you're basically going around buying specific TVs, which, by the way, makes no sense to your size or your platform, uh, size or your community. Where's that money going? Where's that money coming from? I'm very curious about that. Genuinely, I'm so fucking curious as to where that money's go come from. Because it makes no sense. Are you, I, I, I guarantee you, 
He's probably waking up. He's probably going to a store. Take it by buying. Quote unquote, buying a TV, taking it home, reviewing it for about a day or two, and then taking it back and replacing it with another TV. And then reviewing that one and then repeats the process day in, day out. No one want, no company is going to want to work with him. No company is going to want to work with him. Because why, why would LG, why would Sony, why would Bravia, why would any of them want to waste their fucking time giving a TV to someone who's going to basically sit there ripping shit into them with no good points? Why is any company going to want to work with them? You have to build relationships. He's a he's a masterclass on how to destroy relationships, by the way. He's just a masterclass on how to destroy your online relationships with companies. You want to be constantly pleasant to them. You want to be pleasant and you want to be positively critiquing their stuff. That implies, hmm, I don't like the vivid settings on this TV. Here's my vivid settings for this TV. They're this. Company, maybe you want to do this. Oh, the build quality on the back of this is a bit weird. I don't like it. Can, you might want to take the outputs and put them on the side or on the bottom, depending on the preferences. Oh, the power plug in this is actually built into the TV. That's kind of shit. Can you make it so it's removable? Oh, you've got you you've got these amounts seventy five instead of one hundred. You might want to consider one hundred. They're a bit more standard. Oh, the stand on this is a bit wobbly. Then should put something a bit wider. Positive feedback. Find a flaw. Give them a response. Give them an actual good feedback. Not it's shit because I don't fucking like the box. I never wanted to talk to her in the first place. Your, your son is causing trouble for me, and that's the whole reason for this call to begin with. I never wanted to talk to her in the first place. Your son is causing trouble for me, and that's the whole reason for this call to begin with. Stalking and doxing. I'm trying to find Actman. So what, what would you do as a human being if you're trying to find somebody who is hiding behind a stage name, the Actman? Well, you're going to look into them. Threatening someone's privacy. It's not real hard to find him at all. You can... I know it's not hard to find him, Quantum. You've talked to him on Discord. You've literally talked to him on Discord. Do you want to call him? Maybe hit that little ring button. Not difficult. Not difficult, sir. You're a man in your 30s and you can't figure out what ring button is. Google him right now and you can get all of the same information I did. It's not hard. I promise you, if you look into the Act Man right now, you will find his full legal name. You'll find, just type Act Man. You look for Act Man's real name. Content that encourages abusive fan behavior such as doxing. <sighs> like, actually try to find people, you will find it. It's not hard. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. You're a liar. You're a liar. I think it's pretty obvious what he did to my mom was malicious in intent. Yes. Because he obviously had no good reason to contact her over me. In fact, he refused a voice chat with me and Mischief on his live stream and again refused a voice chat in private DMs. Objection. It wasn't until my power of an apology video came out where I mentioned that I contacted his mother, where I guess he got embarrassed and upset by that. Ask him why on the 23rd, after the phone call that I've published, why he said he was moving on, and then only after I made the power of an apology video that he'd come out saying he was threatened. You guys really need to look at things full picture and stop playing games here. Objection! Why did I say I'm done with the drama and then do a 180, you ask? Initially, I was so shocked you took it to that level. I thought, this isn't worth it. I'm not going to talk about him anymore. Wipe on my hands. Moving on. You went public with the knowledge that you contacted her and made a community post about it. People started asking me. I tried to contact her and made a community post. Can't find this community post. He deleted it, but I'm sure someone screenshotted it. I'm not even joking. YouTube's policy basically says if you delete the evidence, you're fine. 
That's how it feels right now. He's deleted every post that strikes him and displays him as being an actual problem on the platform. Community post about it. People started asking me. I tried to ignore it. And then the next day, you posted a video verbally confirming this. I, bro, ask him. Don't, don't think I'm playing around. I called Actman's mother to get a hold of him. This court does not approve of calling anyone's mother. No, you didn't want this to end. You didn't want to be left alone. With your copyright takedown attempt failed, in your twisted mind, you thought you had no other option but to threaten my family in an attempt to silence me, and it almost worked. But you just had to brag about it. You had to talk about it publicly, and that's why this video exists. But the good news is you're now a household joke amongst all of my family. <laughs> People gave me crap I, for this tweet. I, I, I'm not even joking, by the way. He's a household joke amongst every content creator who was aware of this situation at this point. I talked to Glubbable, my, my, my amazing friend Glubbable, and I mentioned Quantum TV, and she went, oh, that bullshit. <laughs> She went, oh, that bullshit. My boyfriend, who originally showed little to no interest in this stuff, by the way, literally laps this shit up. He loves it. He originally was like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Watched the Axe Man's last video and was like, I fucking care? I care. I want to know what's happening. This is better than Holly. This is better than Hollyoaks or EastEnders at this point. I get it. I'm treating this a little bit like drama. I'm treating this a little like drama, but considering recently we've had this Quantum TV Act Man mischief situation going on, which is genuinely part of my livelihood, part of my life in a very deep and integral way, by the way. And then the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp situation. Basically, we've been stacked with two levels of interesting drama in the last two or so months. So how the fuck has no one going to want to pay attention to this? Yeah, it, 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 it's he. He's a household name. I literally mentioned during the Johnny Depp trial that holy shit, Amber Heard is using the quantum defense, and then uh, suddenly in the next week, I was like, holy shit, quantum pulled an Amber Heard. What the fuck? But. I was shocked, okay? And I'm not taking chances with lunatics. You know what's not going to happen? A situation like this. Oh, hi, Quantum. Thanks for showing up to my house uninvited. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Come on in. We're just having dinner. Would you, would you like a beer? Wait, wait, why are you stabbing my mother in the throat? Oh, no. I totally didn't expect you to do something like that. Right? Because, let's be real. Act Man is saying that I am threatening a woman here, okay? This is a serious crime. He was so enraged by it, he never reported it to the police once. Yes, I contacted my local police department, filed a police report. Yes, I contacted a litigation attorney. Yes, I called the police department in his county. And I had to do all of this because of him. This is... And funny point, do you notice that he only just announced, it, announced this literally over a month later? Because legally speaking, if you announce that you've done something like that, it causes problems. So he didn't, because then the problems aren't a, pro a thing. This is the type of shit that can happen when YouTube refuses to enforce their rules. When they allow someone like Quantum to have a platform for four more years than he should have. Mm -hmm. Looking through YouTube's community guidelines, they actually don't have any rules against harassing, doxing, or threatening violence against other content creators' families. Objection! Then, of course, there's the infamous tweet, We wouldn't want our families to get hurt or involved in this. Like, this is such bullshit, bro. In the same videos you bragged about doxing my mother, you also made comments like, One day, maybe you guys might actually get someone killed. And I mean that. Hopefully, through your actions, one day you don't get somebody killed. I reached out to your mother to convey the severity of real-world harm. Again. Again. I I'm sorry, this is the issue of an echo chamber community. Quantum's community is very much an echo chamber. It is homophobic assholes who genuinely go out of their way to sniff each other's farts and 
pretty much just basically it's a circle jerk it is genuine it is genuinely just a circle jerk it is they're sat in a circle fapping each other off calling their ideas amazing because they're all basically they're all basically having the exact same ideas it's it, it it's like a it's like a it's a community it's like a community that basically turns around and says um it, it's like an ego community that basically says i want to sell ego piss and all the egos are like, oh my god, that's so amazing! I'm gonna do the same! And then you just suddenly have like 50 different ego piss products on the market. Guess what? If everyone agrees with you, you're not moving forward with your life. Differencing opinions is a good thing. Everyone I know around me has grown because of argument. Because we talk to each other, we listen to each other, we grow from our opinions, and then we move forward. Oh, I think you, I, I have opinions with YouTube, I have opinions with TikTok. I talk to someone about it. Response, actually that's not technically true, the YouTube algorithm thing works this way, and your opinions on it thinking it's like this is this way, it's completely wrong or an old opinion based off of old facts. And I'm like, oh, I didn't, I wasn't aware that they changed the algorithm again. And I wasn't aware that it's more like TikTok, kind of. It's, it's literally the same thing. Echo chambers only reverberate, an echo chamber reverberates a fart way more than an idea. And his echo chamber is fucking sealed tight. The act mom should have never been involved in this at all. Exactly. And it's caused real emotional turmoil for me and my family. Dude, even if you hate my guts, right? Photoshop all the cucumbers you want into my mouth. But while you literally sit here sucking on cucumbers in a very provocative way, you talk shit about- By the way, him basically looking at a cucumber and thinking, Oh, that looks like a penis. It sounds to me like someone might be in the closet. It's Pride Month. It's a perfect month for you to come out. I'm pretty sure your family will completely support you. Just remember, a rainbow flag is a rainbow flag, and be proud to fly that thing, Quantum. It's Pride Month. Do it. Just come out of the closet, and then we'll actually understand you a little better. ...about me nonstop. Just don't involve my family. Don't be Quantum TV. Those videos are still up, by the way. Fully monetized. He's profiting off of harassment with YouTube's blessing. One final note. My copyright abuse video was uploaded at 10.46 a.m. Quantum TV called my mother 40 minutes after it was uploaded. There was no hesitation. Our next order of business, Fuck. ban evasion, as I believe this is where the Jesus conversation Christ. should have started and ended. While I briefly touched on this before, Your Honor, I request YouTube testify on their policies around ban evasion. Account terminations do not expire. Users whose accounts have been terminated are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. If your termination appeal has been rejected, then you will not be able to recover your account. If your channel has been restricted due to a strike, you must not use another channel to circumvent these restrictions. Hold it! Would you say YouTube is pretty consistent with enforcing this policy and your community guidelines overall? Yes. We enforce these community guidelines using a combination of human reviewers and machine learning, and apply them to everyone equally regardless of the subject or the creator's background. OBJECTION! Apply the community guidelines to everyone equally. Doesn't that sound a bit... off? What do you mean, Mr. Act? I'd like I'm to direct the court's too. attention to this man. But... That's Leafy is here. Indeed, he has made at least three attempts to return to YouTube after his initial ban. The first channel, Weefy, was made in 2020 and shut down shortly after. September 3rd, 2021, Leafy's new channel, Lucky, was banned. It had been up for just five days. What the fuck? What? Mm. I, what? On January 14th, 2022, Leafy's third new channel, LeafyCast, was terminated four months after its creation. That sounds like pretty swift and decisive action to that me. That does! Yes, That's insane! It sure does. That's and insane! Yet, Quantum TV 
I love that he got fucking Charlie and Muda involved in this. It's so amazing. I want to see who else gets involved. I bet we're going to see fucking... Um, I bet we're going to see um, Asmund on this at some point. He has been evading his previous ban for the last four years. Well, YouTube, I'd say the only thing that's consistent with your policies is the gaping hole in your testimony. Absolute nonsense. Order, order, I say. Mr. Ackman, you will explain yourself to this court. We know Quantum is evading a previous ban because he admitted himself on multiple occasions back in 2018. Holy shit, he's actually admitted this in the past. YouTube, do your job. I'm sorry to shout, but Jesus Christ. You ban, you ban fucking Leafy within like what, four, within less than a week. And he's been sitting here for four years. He's admitted to ban evasion. Do it. Get rid of him. Equal grounds! All YouTube would have to do is investigate this on their end to validate it. Objection! So I'm sure you've probably heard the talking point that quantum apotheosis was terminated. I mean, no matter what people say, those are just words. That's literally just hearsay. Objection! But I asked the court if his channel wasn't banned. Then all these posts from 2018 were faked, right? I have been banned from YouTube for two weeks. Come to Quantum's controller core to watch videos until time runs out. I'm sorry, I have seen this. Sony, the LGBT of us with a cringe face. It is Pride Month. This flag means love and equality. It means love and equality, and your response is, Eugh! You're a piece of shit, Quantum. Seriously, me loving someone offends you? Go fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Snowflakes won't win this one. Take that! Why would you direct your Facebook followers to a different channel if you weren't afraid that your current one would be taken down? Where are the contacts for this? And then you made another post the next day because I just can't let them take my channel without a fight. The Last of Us 2 uncensored reaction. Does the act of two people in love kissing deal you physical harm? Because unless it does, shut the fuck up. I'm sorry to say this, but Jesus fucking Christ. You are a pussy if you think that two individuals genuinely in love actually equate to, oh no, my marriage equality has been threatened. Like, no, it's not. It is not. Your marriage is made no less, no less valid compared to their marriage. If that's the case, me thinks you might be a- you, Your homophobic actions speaks to me in a way of You must be in the closet Come out of the closet, it is Pride Month Come out, be gay, be proud And apologize for your actions of the fucking past And then, why would you lie on June 30th About the appeals you made to YouTube And admit that you were banned for hate speech? Why would you write up a fake appeal for a fake channel termination and go through the trouble of forging screenshots? I agree, this is quite compelling evidence. Well, Quantum, let's hear an answer. This is a personal vendetta. This is a vindictive, manipulative tactic that he's using to fool everyone around him into attacking one person, Quantum TV. I guarantee you at some point in the future he's going to pull freedom of speech and oh this is an attack on freedom of speech. He's going to literally do what Amber Heard fucking said earlier. Oh this is an attack on freedom of speech oh my god. This guy right here. Something doesn't quite add up for me Quantum. If the court would kindly look at this video feed. As you can see this video is titled Big Thanks to Quantum Apotheosis. It was posted on October 18th, 2018. And if we scroll down to the comments, thank you so much for taking the time to mention me. Take that! Why did you post this comment? Oi, what? <laughs> he literally was like, thank you for 
Thank you for mentioning me. What the fuck? He admits- Taking the time to mention me. <laughs> Why did you post this comment on your current channel and not the apotheosis one? Oh. These are very weird things to lie about, sounds, Mr. TV. It sounds- Even for you! Objection! Are, are you deaf, my guys? Are, are you hard of hearing? I will say this for all the people in the back who are struggling to hear me, okay? In 2018, I had a massive compromise of all of my social media accounts. My yeah, you were still posting up videos like it was not a problem. My PlayStation and Xbox even got hacked. Nothing was safe. Objection! You're right, I'm sorry. All these hacked posts were from someone pretending to be you and pretending that your channel was deleted and lying about that on the Facebook account you had linked on your current account until just recently. Now, I'm going to take it a step further and actually tell you how Quantum has successfully evaded his previous ban. What he does is he creates multiple backup channels and spreads out very similar types of content on each one. He'll constantly rebrand them, change the username, the pictures, and URL to cover his tracks so they can't be linked back to his original band. Your Honor, I request a verdict right now. Very well then. I'm going to announce my verdict. This court finds Quantum TV... OBJECTION! Boy, I am thoroughly tickled. I, I forget what I said. I'm, I'm literally really tickled by this. What are you talking about? I caught you! Stop spreading lies! Objection! Giving a shout out to Quantum Apotheosis Channel. It's a Mr. 4K Upscaler video. You know, it was made four years ago. And it's funny because you expand that box, you expand the description, you go down to the link, you click on the link, and you'll see the so-called band channel that uh, a lot of people decided to make a stink over. What? Are you telling me he basically goes for a rebranding, renaming, re-everything, comments on a video and was like, oh my god, uh, they're talking about someone else, it's not me. I'm like, but we're aware it's you because it's the same fucking voice and the same fucking face on the screen. And it's completely unique content to said channel. What? The reality is, Quantum Apotheosis is in very good standing. There's no way! Order. Order, I say. The next person who speaks in my courtroom is getting thrown out. You don't have any power here. Nobody was taken down by anyone. Well, it seems this is incontrovertible proof that Mr. TV is not ban evading. There, there's a very simple explanation for that. Right now, Mr. TV has four active channels. Quantum TV Vlog, later renamed Controversial Truth, Chemical XJ9, his main one, and this brand new Next Gen Gamers. I'd also like to point out that Chemical XJ9, Quantum Rising, Quantum Realm, and Next Gen Gaming are all the same channel. Remember these names because it's important. I, I love the Wayback Machine. I'm pretty sure he used the Wayback Machine to fucking prove all the things. I see. And how is this relevant? Your Honor, it's possible to change the custom URL of a YouTube channel quite easily. I suspect he found this video, changed the link of an old channel he had privated to match this one, and is trying to pass it off as if he was never terminated. Well, that seems compelling. But do you have any evidence to support this theory that he has been changing the URLs? I... I, uh... This is the shit I gotta deal with with the gaming community? I swear, this is why people don't like you fuckers. It's just unequivocally a lie. May Once again, deleting, changing, editing, destruction of evidence is uh, proving to the world that you are indeed wrong. Made solely to slander somebody that they don't like. It's, it's no use. I, I can't prove something like that. Very well. I'm going to announce my verdict then. This court finds Quantum TV. Hold it. Y your Honor, please wait. Uh, Mr. Act, you better have a good reason for interrupting my verdict. Now, do you have proof to refute the witness's claims or not? Can I prove something like that? Do I really have evidence that he's been changing his channel's URL? Are you a lawyer or just a big old pussy? My entire case is resting on this moment. If I let up now... 
Muda is the angel on all of our shoulders. This hateful copyright abuser will get off scot-free. I have to think about this from a different angle. Way I don't back need machine. to prove that Quantum Apocalypse was banned. I need to show that he changed the URL. Mr. Act, if you cannot demonstrate the validity of your claims, then I'm afraid this wild goose chase will be nothing more than conjecture. Your Honor, I have proof. And, 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 uh, this is how you respond? You steal videos and you, you, you lie through your fucking teeth. OBJECTION! Mr. TV, the only thing coming through my teeth are straight facts. This evidence will prove beyond a shadow of- If I'm ever going through legal proceedings, Actman, can you be my lawyer? I will literally call you the act attorney. I will call you the act attorney and I will let you basically act like this on, in court and you'll just be sat there going, that's my lawyer. ...of a doubt that you're violating YouTube's policy on ban evasion. And here's my final proof! Take that! But... That's... that's the evidence Mr. TV just submitted as proof that he isn't ban evading? Quite the contrary. This link Quantum is using to prove his innocence is the very thing that will seal his fate! I don't know what the hell that's all about. <sighs> it's the idea. The, it's the ID link. The ID link doesn't change. The ID link to the cha a channel is always the same, but the, you can do a custom URL. For example, with my channel, it's MissKatieB at youtube.com forward slash MissKatieB. But if you basically go to my channel, refresh the page, it'll be youtube.com forward slash UJ58. That will always remain the same. I could literally rename my fucking... I could rebrand myself to Halo TV, C TV series is amazing. And that ID system will always remain the same. By the way, I don't think the TV series is good. I will... No. But that's some weird language going on there. It's just all hearsay. Have you ever heard of the Wayback Machine, Your Honor? Wayback it Machine! It websites across the internet to preserve their contents as they were at an exact point in time. These links can't be faked. Quantum claims this link leads to the missing channel apotheosis. So I asked myself, what would happen if I put this link into the Wayback Machine? <laughs> there it is. Irrefutable <laughs> evidence of ban evasion. Quite a remarkable coincidence. What the so fuck? What really happened? Quantum Apotheosis was banned for hate speech. Out of fear his other channels would be taken down, he privated Next Gen Gamers to prevent people from reporting it to YouTube, but forgot about it until just recently. Four years later, to throw off suspicion for his ban evasion, he found this video, made Next Gen Gamers public again, and changed the custom URL to the one listed in the description to make it look as if Quantum Apotheosis was never banned. If you look at the social blade for this channel, you'll see the account was active throughout May and June of 2018, but it was recently made public again on May 15th, 2022. You could also see there was a massive purge of videos. But Yo! before that- Yo! Social Blade to the fucking re What the fuck? You'll actually see if you do if you do social blade on mine, you'll actually see there's a huge dip because I've removed a lot of old content. I I I am not I've literally still got them. They're archived at the moment. But I genuinely on mine you will see like it's a nice flat line and then boop and then back up. Because I I just removed videos on my channel because I felt like it wasn't the direction I wanted to go. But what he's done is legitimately, holy shit, I did a bad, I need to change this. What was the last day Next Gen Gamers was active? June 12th, 2018. The day before Quantum TV himself confirmed his other channel was banned for hate speech. <laughs> and here, Quantum shows in this Discord message how he privated this account for so long. Tell the truth. Quantum Apotheosis was terminated for hate speech, and you've been evading that ban for four years, using three separate accounts this whole time, and that's all the proof YouTube should need to enforce their policies and terminate the rest of your active channels. Get Admit rid of it. him! You're 
banavading. He's banavading. So now the finger comes back to point at YouTube. You're not enforcing your policies. So either change the rules or get off your ass and do your job. Account terminations do not expire. Users whose accounts have been terminated are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. Since you can evade your previous ban, you know who's going to be really happy about all of this? Leafy, Alex Jones, and Jay Station. Allow me to be the first person to officially welcome them back. Welcome back, guys. If YouTube does not get rid of Quantum TV for these actions, I completely agree. Get these assholes back on the platform because you know what? New rules, new management, let's go! Uh -oh. Sorry, I'm drinking Monster. All water under the bridge, YouTube doesn't care anymore. Yeah, YouTube doesn't care. Get back in here, guys, we miss you. I do not agree, I do You were the same people mm -hmm. probably running over those turtles and those poor raccoons and possums on the side of the road for sport, okay? As people like me jump out of the car and rescue fucking animals. It's quite hard to believe that the given the evidence, that people about? would opt to defend Quantum, but when they do- Transphobia isn't real, so you can't hold that against anyone. Dude should get shot either way for re reaching to your mother. You pull that kind of crap down the hair, you turn it in- you turn up in a bag and cut to pieces on the side of the rope. Mum, mums are scared. I think if you're going after him for terms of service violations and false DMCA, that's all fair game. Just don't bring his unpopular political opinions into the mix. Fair to mention them and point and laugh, but not to counsel the guy over. Act man, you and Quantum are both crybaby idiots. Act. You were cry literally, you were literally crying, freaking out like a child when you could get the trash game Halo Infinite to boot up. You also sucked off Halo and 343 and cringely defended them like a gullible bootlicking idiot. I think that was written by Quantum. Don't you? Uh... Okay, Quantum, we get it. You can make socks. Okay, Quantum. Oh, look, I spotted it. They spotted it. Do you want to know how we know? We know. You want to know how I know that this is Quantum? Quantum is what I call very anti-dyslexia. He doesn't separate out his how he types. He goes full stop and then a space and then just carries on. And he basically does everything in sentences and very rarely uses commas. He types like everything is official, but he block types everything. He block types everything and his approaches to insults is basically treating you like a toddler. He's very easy to spot online. I mean, fuck Quantum and everything, but this honestly feels like an attempt to drum up drama and subs. All Mischief has been posting about Lately is the drama and big surprises channel grew insanely fast. Surgeon Thick Boy, no. Uh, technically speaking, he is not wrong, but he's also not correct. Quan um, Mischief's new situation basically says to the world he has to be he has to now um, prove his size that he he needs to now earn his play button and. I feel like if anyone is capable of doing it, it's mischief. He is still young. He's learned to YouTube edit. His last few videos has gone insanely up in quality. And I shit you not, I have full confidence in mischief that he's going to start doing very well. I'd like for him to kind of start avoiding the drama stuff a bit more. Maybe do some, pro maybe, maybe do some actual game reviews and then take some reviews from other channels and basically be like, this is their opinion. I'm going to tell you why they are wrong. But yeah, I will. I will. I, I do and don't agree. He, he has seen a massive growth on his channel. Thanks to this. Thanks to the drama that has kicked up. But he's now in a situation of he needs to prove his play button. And I'm very confident that he can do that because his recent quality has just gone. Whoa. Do it's truly amazing the mental gymnastics they put on display. Some folk label what I'm trying to do as cancel culture. This is not cancel culture. It's you fuck around, you're gonna find out. Exactly. You're gonna try to attack their channel. Uh-uh, man. 
Like, that's a that's the way it goes. Fuck around like, and somebody find out. does this shit to me. Like, yeah, you don't fucking do this. Look, we all say dumb we shit don't. on the internet. We, we take do. accountability, we apologize, we learn, and move forward. Growing up, for me, growing up for me, saying the word term gay was seen as nothing more than an insult. I use it now as a term to basically be like, holy shit, that's adorable, and I love it. I say, oh my god, that's so gay. I mean it in a way that's basically, uh, that's fucking cute. My sister, however, still uses it to this day to mean an insult, but she's kind of grown up around it being nothing more than an insult. But yeah, I've done things in my past. I've said things in my past, but I apologize for it. I've grown up. I'm a big girl now. But Quantum doesn't. Mm. That's the difference. Yep. He had a chance to change and he hasn't. Let's yeah. also then pretend that Our, you- By the way, he had a chance to- This, see? Very anti-dyslexia. He types out a sentence, full stop. He types out a sentence, comma, continues, comma, continues, full stop. I would have gone right here and then go down. Right to here, then go down. Right to here, then go down. Separate out your sentences, make it a bit more dyslexic friendly. If you type like this, you are a narcissist. This is how narcissists write. This is how people who always think that they are right, write. This is genuinely how he, this is literally your signs of a narcissist. I don't want people with potential learning problems reading through this. Do you know want to know how far into this I usually get? I get to about here and then I can't read further because my dyslexia makes my eyes go around the page. I literally go blah, 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 and then I get to here and then I go up here and then I go down here and then I go up here. I can't read this because it's a wall block of text. ...to change and he hasn't. Let's also then pretend that you didn't hear me and my public statement video, which is still live on this channel, did Prove it. Disavow my hacked tweets. This motherfucker's guilty. Oh, he's lying. Look at him trying to cover his tracks. You didn't disavow it. You just said you were hacked, dude. Yeah. An easily provable lie. Yeah. Another thing I hear people say is that actions on other platforms shouldn't factor into his ban on YouTube. Uh, normally, I would agree, but this is a special case. We see the same radical extremist beliefs shared across all platforms. I'm a firm believer that your actions online if you are a content creator, if you are an influencer, if you make stuff online, your actions on every platform will should will and should affect every platform moving forward. If I say something on my Twitch, if I say something on my YouTube, if I say something on my TikTok, if I'm drunk one night and I tweet out something which is vulgar as fuck, I'm expecting consequences through I, I'm expect it I'd expect that to ripple through everything. Simply going to Twitter and dropping N or F word or basically taking the piss out of any minor minority community, any of those, any of them. And then going to YouTube and being like, hi guys, I'm all fine. I didn't say anything bad over here. If, if... If you're walking down the street one night and you shoot someone and then you get home and you basically sit down with your family and you and you have a and you have a nice glass of wine and you act like fuck all's happen. I'm sorry, the actions you had outside of you shooting a person are still an actual thing that you have done and those actions still hold consequences. Just because you're indoors and you act differently to how you are outdoors does not make the outdoors less consequential than indoors and vice versa there is no your actions have consequences and i'm sorry quantum you have to live with them same with act man he said things in his past he's condoned them and said i no longer agree with these these points and opinions or oh, i'm sorry i was f trying to have a bit of a joke and i went a bit far okay yeah condoning said actions you basically turn around and go to the camera and say, i was hacked guys i was hacked oh my god I agree with everything they said, but I got hacked. Oh my god! It's a pattern of behavior. But it's a pattern He's a of behavior. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a pattern of behavior. All of us see it as a pattern of behavior. Like it, it, and that's what I'm saying. 
is that two points make a line and a line goes in a direction. Your Honor, I request YouTube testify about their policies on external links. I too would like to hear more on this matter, YouTube. Same. If you would please take the stand. Links that send users to websites featuring content that violates our community guidelines are not allowed on YouTube. Hold it! I noticed you have this disclaimer written in most of your community guidelines. It reads, these policies also apply to external links in your content. Are all of your community guidelines also applied to links people have on their YouTube channels? Our community guidelines, the policies that protect our community, outline what you can and cannot do on YouTube. Any content that violates these policies is removed. Those guidelines include a hate speech policy that protects people with protected attributes across all kinds of content on our platform. Do you mean like the LGBT community? ethnic minorities, majorities, I think, at this point. Um, people with learning difficulties, people with physical disabilities. You mean any and everyone? Any hate speech towards any and everyone is accountable? From videos and comments to links, titles, and descriptions. Okay, I want to say one thing before the objection goes through. You should not be held accountable for the comments on your uh, your own comments on your video. Sometimes shit gets through the cracks and causes a creator problems. You should basically be told, oh yeah, this was a comment on your video. It kind of seeped through. We removed it. But this seems to be a problem. You might want to change your settings to this. I advise them to change certain settings. Action! In my last video, I proved at great length some of the racist, homophobic, or sorry, anti-gay things Quantumus said. Homophobic and anti-gay are the exact same thing. I'm actually gonna say that. Him, so many heterophobic individuals show themselves today. I say spread the word. Quantum apotheosis is anti-gay. I'm not sorry. Heterophobic is not a thing. Heterophobic is not a thing. Heterophobic is only a thing within the LGBT community when they have been physically assaulted, berated, sexually assaulted, physically assaulted, emotionally ridiculed by religious orders. It is only a thing within the LGBT community when we have gone through high levels of fucking trauma where we have been legitimately victimized because of your homophobia. Heterophobic, con heterophobic individuals only exist based off of the actions of a homophobe. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Any of the LGBTQ individuals who are watching this, who have managed to get this far, tell me this. Are you scared of, are you scared of straight people? because of how you've been treated. Because I guarantee you, the only way it's ever become a problem is because of a homophobic prick trying to one-up you because they think they're being big and they think they're being strong and they're not. And I proved that he had all these accounts linked on his main YouTube channel. These were linked on his YouTube account. You know what I really hate, YouTube? This bullshit speech you're giving me. Objection. They're going to run with the fact that their friend shared them hacked tweets. I never even knew there was a backlog for Twitter until they started nastily live streaming it to slander and slam me. Okay. Twitter is Twitter. If I go to my Twitter. Oh, wait, no, I might want to not want to risk this. If I go to my Twitter. Backlog of content. Go to my channel. I shouldn't do this. Back a local content. It is all here. It is always a backlog. It is a thing. You are held accountable for your actions. There is always a backlog on Twitter. Action. You can't even keep your story straight. Objection. 
I straight up didn't do the shit, so I'm not gonna own something I didn't do. When I make a mistake, I own it outright and say, you know what, damn, I was wrong. Objection! They even expect us to believe that your PlayStation, Xbox, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube accounts were all hacked. You're now also claiming in these messages that people are filing false copyright takedowns in your name, and that someone tried buying a house in your name. If I were you, Quantum, I'd never step foot in a casino, because apparently, you're the unluckiest man in the world. Is Making that, this yeah. podcast, the whole point of it is, yeah, I get hacked a lot, man. Especially if you ever run into gamers, you know how toxic they can be. Well, if you look at the descriptions of his older videos, you'll- I'm sorry. Oh, I get hacked a lot. Guess what? I got hacked 10 or so years ago. I put my security up. If he gets hacked as often he as he has, I get a VPN. I get a pa I, I get a password protection thing. I get an auto password generator. And I would stop clicking fucking phishing links. Stop clicking phishing links in your fucking emails. I got sent a fucking Google Drive the other day from clearly a bot on Twitter, and my response was, hmm, maybe this is a hack. Let's not click this. You'll find he still has old links to these deleted Twitter and Facebook pages. Your Honor, perhaps I didn't provide enough examples of hate speech in the last video. I'm well equipped this time. Take that! Gay marriage needs to be shut down. Marriage is not a gay right. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. Here's a screenshot of him linking a now deleted video he posted to YouTube titled Heterophobic Gay Pride Exposed. In mere seconds, YouTube removed my video showing the racism in Black Panther. Liberals are Nazis. 100% proof Black Panther is racist. So many heterophobic individuals show themselves today. The genuine fact that YouTube has actually shown that they have deleted multiple videos of him sh continually hate speech, doing hate speech towards the LGBT and even the black community. How is he still on this platform? How is he still on this platform? I say spread the word. Quantum apotheosis is anti-gay. I'm not sorry. YouTube, you allowed this guy to build a community based around hate, lies, and harassment. Through your brand, through your website. He currently has a link to his Discord. I feel like you, the only grounds YouTube would technically have for this is if he's this level of crazy, maybe he'll attract other crazy people into his community and they can keep an eye on one huge community of nutcases compared to like 50 smaller communities of individual nutcases. Where he's saying things like, I wish the most painful death on everyone involved in this massive smear campaign. Gee. Where have we heard that before? At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You guys are bashing on me, calling me a filthy casual player, and I say, hey, man, go kill yourself. Because that's the name of the game, go kill yourself. There is no context where saying go kill yourself is a good thing. There is no context on any ground that's saying, yo, go kill yourself. If I ever said go kill yourself, I would probably be in a very drunk stupor, and I shit you fucking not, probably the worst mood of my life. Never wish death upon someone, never wish suicide on someone. You do not know what's going through someone's head. You don't know if someone's had recently had their love, their closest loved one die. You don't know if their cat's being killed or their dog has recently died of cancer. You don't know if they're struggling with what. You don't know if they recently have been fired. Telling someone to go kill themselves is one of the most disgusting disgusting things you could do as a human and you just basically off the cuff going go kill yourself you can do it in the game it's disgusting behavior and it should not be allowed on this platform full fucking full fucking spot it is stupid you should not be allowed to say that full stop you are a disgusting human being for even mentioning that you don't know what someone's mood is. And the thing is this, you are on YouTube. The biggest platform, 2.4 billion active users on YouTube. 2.4 billion. That's like legitimately a quarter of the planet actively uses YouTube. Actively, quarter of the planet.
He is basically putting go kill yourself out to quarter of the planet and expecting none of them to not have a good be having a good day or be going through some levels of trauma where someone online going go kill yourself might push them to go and kill themselves your actions are horrible quantum get the fuck off my platform go die in the game a bunch of times he said go kill yourself you just don't do that what you don't woke trash is that and another th it is not woke trash it's called being a decent human being thing quantum was also using his facebook and discord to spread covid misinformation and allegations of voter fraud in the 2020 election just which is against youtube facebook and Discord's community guidelines. For that extra spice. By the way, these two things are explicitly outlawed by the guidelines. Oh. Keep in mind, YouTube's policy on hate speech says this. This policy applies to videos, video descriptions, comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature. Please note these policies also apply to external links in your content. Check YouTube, fucking me. Tell us the truth. He's violated your policy on external links? Just how many of your policies do you no longer enforce? How many guidelines does this man need to break before you get off your ass and do something? And they really love to attack my sexual orientation by discriminating against me, making LGBT GIFs and memes and all kinds of stuff because this he calls them GIFs. He fucking calls them GIFs. This is appropriate behavior. <laughs> I mean, if the roles were reversed and, you know, they wanted their sexual orientation to be respected and it wasn't, I'm pretty sure they would go screaming, kicking and falling out all over the floor about it. You can call me straight all the fuck you want, my dude. Guess what? I ain't going to make it true. And guess what? I ain't going to fucking sit here online kicking and fucking screaming. You sound like a pussy. But here I am, a Christian straight man, and they target that as some sort of nasty or negative thing. YouTube claims they take all this stuff into consideration, right? Comments, community posts, videos, external links, your behavior on other platforms factors in. All of this can and should be scrutinized under the community guidelines and as a whole be used to determine if any action is taken. What rules have been broken and to what severity? You can judge the scale of these violations based on the length of this video. YouTube, please testify. And again, the length of my video and the genuine fact that I'm 30 minutes into an hour long video and I'm already an hour and a half into recording. About your policies on harmful or dangerous content. Don't post content on YouTube if it fits any of the descriptions noted below. Violent events, promoting or glorifying violent tragedies, such as school shootings. Oh. Please note these policies also apply to external links in your content. Objection! So if it's not okay to glorify school shootings, Which then what about is. mass shootings? Mm. What about the second largest mass shooting in American history? Is it okay to glorify that and tell people you wish they were pulse victims? that the world would be better off without gay people? Yes, you're right. Sometimes the woke culture stuff is, it's exhausting. It, it is. It's just so tiresome. It is. And I don't like it just as much as you don't. However, there are sometimes, it's the same thing. It's like, uh, it's like people say everything's racist. There actually are people that are legitimately fucking racist. And at the end of the day, it's not woke culture. It's called being a decent human being. It's called being a decent human fucking being. That's all we want in this world is for you to not be a dick. It isn't and like you know, an is the furthest the from thing from a like dick. This isn't an actual fucking racist. You see what I'm saying? Like this is not woke culture. This is a person saying people should get shot for being gay. Like this is come on, man. If you don't. If you don't like people being gay, guess what? Stop paying attention to it. Stop looking. Stop. Stop looking for it. Stop paying attention to it. Ignore it. Get on with your life. Call a spade a spade. Is exactly. that you're not doing yourself and you're not doing people that think like you any favors by making excuses for nutballs. If he apologized, truly tried to make amends, I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. The problem 
Quantum TV is still the same person that believes these things. Yep. He still thinks the gays are out to get him and force him to have anal sex. I don't want to... I'm not going to fucking lie. We don't want sex with you. You're, uh, we, at the end of the day, I think at this point, we feel sorry for your spouse. Participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to. I mean, this is insane. Let me read this sentence again. I don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to. This is not something that you hear a lot. You don't hear this. You don't hear this very often. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. One minute someone could be watching Stop the FOMO and the next minute they start having anal sex with their dads. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. Doing coke and trying to conjure demons with satanic rituals. Satanic influence isn't a joke. I don't want to participate in the anal sex <laughs> that other people tell me to. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to stay strong in the oh, face I'm in of Naku's Jesus way. Christ. Sorry, Naku. God loves you and will prosper. <laughs> Bravo. Wait, can we, can we, can we that tell was amazing. You guys remember that video Quantum shared of the LGBT activists getting attacked in Georgia? I watched the video and there's no context, it's just a guy getting assaulted in broad daylight. The replies are filled with people celebrating this man, calling him a <sighs> hero. And would the court like to take one guess? Who I found in the comments section. HOLY SHIT! But here's why I think Quantum's actions matter more <laughs> than the random comments that are what in this fuck? video. Quantum is a content creator. He has an audience and a platform considered a public figure. And if this is the presence he has on the website, it's poison. I find it all the more indicative of YouTube's incompetence that they have what they call protected groups and they allegedly consider harassment towards these groups to be especially vile. It is. We don't allow content promoting hatred against people with protected attributes. Promoting hatred can mean things like comparing a group to animals. One of the moments that were really annoying for me is like you had Selena Kyle, which is Lenny Kravitz's daughter, like a half-breed, basically. What is this, Harry Potter? <laughs> what the fuck? Ha oh my god, man. <laughs> the the only conclusion I can draw from YouTube's decision to not ban Quantum is that children and members of the LGBT community are no longer considered protected groups. Now, you guys is that are why we have a Pride with, Month? Like, he's he's a is that why we have Pride Month? And by the way, happy Pride Month, by the way. He's a transphobe. You're just trying to weaponize the gay community against me. Oh, nope. uh, yes. We deployed the gays against you. Tactical gays ready for deployment. Repeat. Tactical gays ready for deployment. Tactical gays ready for deployment. I am one of the ODSTs of the trans community. Let's go. Orbital drop squad coming in. I love how Quantum thinks we like manipulated gay people against him. You have done that yourself. Yep. Hello. And at last, I reveal YouTube's greatest flaw in its methods of moderating the platform. They have confirmed through email and over telephone that they cannot, will not, and do not investigate anything that is not a currently active link. Reason one, poor investigation skills. Some of this stuff is archived on the Wayback Machine, so it, it was there. Even if we have 30 different people send them the same screenshot, they'll be like, nope. Basically, YouTube doesn't give two flying fucks unless it's active. So guys, don't worry about it. You can say whatever the fuck you want on YouTube. You can do anything you want off platform. As long as you delete the link, you're good. Don't worry, guys. Can it can investigate this. That's right. All of the evidence I've been showing you, they consider to be worthless. Even though, even fucking though, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial used the Wayback Machine multiple times to prove Johnny Depp's point. YouTube will not do the same with Quantum. Reason number two, lack of common sense. While it's undeniable he broke YouTube's guidelines on hate speech and external links, uh, YouTube will not do anything about that because he deleted the evidence. Mm -hmm. And remember, if you delete things on the internet, it's like it never happened and everyone forgets. But they also don't investigate active links either because I sent them the videos of Quantum harassing me, Review Tech USA, Mischief, 
all the other AV YouTubers and they disregarded all of those as well. His Facebook and Twitter were archived on the Wayback Machine. Hundreds of people have screen capped the stuff he said. It's real. I'm quite delighted by this news, YouTube. You know why? Because I can finally promote my brand new porno. Links Hells in yeah. the description. I've Hells also officially yeah. launched my neo-Nazi recruitment website. You can find that in the pinned comment. And if I hereby claim to, I, w I would here like to be to join your group under the trans ODST group. I wish to come in from orbit and be like pew pew pew. If you'd like to take part in this next pyramid scheme I'm running, <gasps> well. That's in the description. Pyramid too. scheme. I love pyramids. They're like big triangles. If it's one question I get over and over during the course of this channel, it's why does Quantum TV attack every other YouTube channel? One thing I barely mentioned in the last video was Quantum's harassment towards the AV community or audio oh, God, vision. Yeah. And these people have dealt with his shit the most. Uh, these are channels that make videos in the same genre, you know, about audio, visual, televisions, tech stuff. And I find it all the more malicious when you look at the methods he's used to harass these people in particular. And then you have Paul the tech giant come onto our channel and immediately I need everyone's attention. Who the hell do you think you are? You are nothing on this community. And, and let me be very clear, you are nothing on this community to be asking for people's attention when I'm speaking. Quantum, a t Bitch, no one cares if you're speaking. The only people listening are you and your own fucking farts. Attempts to discredit every other AV YouTuber in the hopes that they'll go to his channel instead of theirs. He will do this for the most asinine or batshit crazy reasons he can come up with. The funniest being his opinions on Stop the FOMO, being a Satanist. Those infamous posts- Oh yeah, the Lucifer thing. When Stop the FOMO, wait, was it? Stop the FOMO or um, whoever it was used Lucifer. That was fucking genius. That was actually fucking genius on their part. I shit you not. That was so fucking clever. I was like, holy shit, that is insanely smart. Dude, you, you, what the fuck? Keep doing that. ...are real, and he's made these claims that FOMO is a Satanist across his community post, his blogs, his Facebook, and in his YouTube videos. While it's easy to write off Quantum as being insane in the membrane, I want to hear real testimony from these AV YouTubers, because I also believe Quantum Yo, has he ulterior got them? motives in making this drama-related content and why he has playlists dedicated to exposing other creators. It's like anytime there's a slow period in the TV business, he will find someone to attack for some reason, just to create drama and get drama views. Oh, holy well, Quano, shit. Why do you smear so many other AV YouTubers? Simple, to attack their credibility and show up in search results when people look them up. Even if he's not successful in these attempts to defame people, and expose them as frauds, isn't it bad that he's been doing this for four years? I mean, these, these are things that stupid. a lot of these people like be the installer, stop the FOMO. You know, the other guys are not going to talk about. If I'm being very frank, they need to know their place. A lot of the people you are watching or getting information from <sighs> usually don't know what they're talking about. And I prove that they don't know what they're talking about. He calls them frauds, sellouts, Satanists in disguise. I'm the best TV calibrator. Only I know what I'm talking about. Quant Quantum doesn't use professional calibration hardware. He basic, do you want to know what he does? Quantum TV will go to his TV settings, crank up the brightness on every, crank up the brightness, go to the color channels and crank each one of those up to 100%. Slap the thing onto vivid and then basically tweak tweak the sharpness and remove as much motion blur as possible. I shit you not, his stuff looks like it's useful in a preschool because kids love bright colors. In a professional setting, his calibration settings are dog shit. They are absolutely fucking lutely terrible you do not crank up the brightness crank up the rgb scales shove the thing onto brightness and then tweak the fucking exposure and contrast to basically be like hmm can i get this to look like this oh no no 
You want to know what you do? If you are in a professional situation where color calibration is necessary, you get yourself a calibration tool for about $200 and then you plug that in. And then roughly every three to six months or so, you go, I'm going to recalibrate again. Boom. And most of the displays he gets are already calibrated to industry standards. They all go through proper calibration before leaving the factory. He is literally ruining them to make them look shitter because vivid mode in the store is not bad enough. But here's where the story gets very interesting. I did some research into TV calibration as a profession and calibrators like Ninjitian and Keep It Classy Tech will go to a client's house to calibrate the TV so that it fits the lighting in their room. Every house is different, every TV is calibrated Holy a little shit. bit differently. It's the same idea of, say, a plumber needing to be in your house to fix your plumbing. I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, Quantum. Yep. Mr. TV conducts his TV calibration business in a way that no other calibrator does. Mr. TV doesn't go to clients' houses. He doesn't have clients. He's not a certified TV calibrator. He's a fraud. He is. And so people who appreciate the truth... He genuinely is, because to be a certified TV calibrator actually takes quite a lot of training. I say quite a lot of training. You need to know what you're doing and each individual TV, and you need to know about each individual panel, about each, uh, and you need to know their strengths, their weaknesses, what they're good at, what they're not good at, the point at which motion blur on them could become a thing. Some some displays may have burn more potential burn-in issues with certain settings over it. He him cranking up the brightness, throwing up the contrast, basically ensures burn-in, which is why he complains about burn-in a lot. Love what I do. And they've named this channel the number one brand in honesty. That's not- No, they haven't. Name, you right? did. He's been using YouTube memberships and Patreon to scam people into thinking they're buying TV settings from a certified calibrator. He's not. If he wants to sell people settings and just say, hey, these are settings I did, you know, whatever. I don't care. Uh, but when you're telling people that you are a calibrator when you aren't, and that you're selling calibrated set settings and they're not, he will from time to time give an actual definition of what a calibrator is and what calibration is. But he then says he goes against that. But we're forgetting that I don't have 65,000 subscribers for no reason. I actually have a following. But my following you is because I attacked people you. like Vincent Tio and I've attacked the AVS forum because of their dedication to the old ways of the 30 year old industry standards that don't work. It's like he'll explain that that's setting it to a reference standard, but he doesn't use reference standards. So therefore you are scamming people and lying to people to make money and make real calibrators and the ISF foundation, everything look bad with your lies. Industry standard basically means color correct. If you look outside the way, if you look outside your window, guess what? That's called color correct. That's atmospheric distortion. That's atmospheric distortion, colored saturation, lighting lighting scenario and everything if you take a picture and everything looks greener or looks bluer or looks purple or looks red guess what your color correction on your camera is not set properly there's an industry standard for a fucking reason it is to hold everything on equal ground and equal level it is why within the games industry maya ZBrush are regarded as industry standard. Blender has only recently started to become industry standard because it didn't meet requirements and has only recently started to meet requirements. Nothing to do with price. It's about industry standard calibration levels. Did you know that? Blender only recently became standard because of a handful of new features, which makes it industry standard now. But Maya and a few other ones have only just... Maya had, had those for them from the start because those were the running standard. For a guy who apparently specializes in the audio-visual departments, he sure has no fucking clue how to balance his audio. On a personal level, I think that bothers me the most, right? Yep. He'll upload videos with stereo audio, and then one side will just be 
it's so much louder than the other. It's like, and so people who appreciate the <sighs> truth love what I do. And they've named this channel the number one brand in honesty. That's not a self-given name, right? I hate that feeling of him whispering in my fucking ear. So you hear how the audio is balanced to the right side? Now, if I drag and drop this effect... And so people who appreciate the truth... Oh, wow, that sounds so much better! Wow, look at that. It's almost like that took me all of 30 seconds to do. Or when he showed the phone call of him harassing my mom, he was like, make sure you turn up the volume. Play the recording back. Turn up your headphones if you got to. Okay, so you can hear the audio. It's like, bitch, why don't you do that for me? <laughs> why are you gonna make me turn the volume up? But it gets even worse because not only... You'd expect someone with 60,000 subscribers to know how to do that. Me on 1K knows how to do audio balancing. My problem with my channel is consistency. That's it. I can make a fucking baller ass video. Everything. Because I know how to. How is he at 65,000 plus subscribers and not knowing how the basic bitches shit goes on? Is he a fraud, but allegedly he steals other calibrators' settings and tries to pass them off as his own. I put up a video two days ago. Within like an hour, his moderator, Anonymous, takes a screenshot of my video, makes this post in their private Discord, gives no credit, says, doesn't say where it's from, you know, just makes this big old technical post about it, whatever. And then later someone asks, is this, you know, from you? And then he says yes, but then edits it real quick to say, well, yes, it's sourced from wherever or something like that like that's stuff that happens all the time so what was the settings that you were going to show just out of curiosity so i gotta throw an image up of this you know it's a, an actual reference image that's used to check a television if you're wondering what's behind his head it's called a grayscale it's called a grayscale um fade panel i think basically when you look at a display an 8-bit display will show clear bands and that would be an higher quality panels will show it as a smooth gradient lower quality ones will show them as distinct bands i'm pretty sure that's not one of those gradient ones it is however a very much a um yeah it's very much a banded one which basically goes this is black black this is white white and this is in betweens where does the white white look proper white white television after its calibration and show what it's supposed to look like and then just show like the basis of what he does and you better have a bag of, you know, spicy Cheeto dust ready. So this is basically what it's supposed to look like. What Quantum wants to do and sell people looks like this. <laughs> oh, God. See how terrible that is? So essentially he's, well, not essentially, he's literally lying, telling people that he's a, a certified calibrator. Notice the difference here. Look, this is called color balance. This is cranking up the saturation. She looks human. She looks like a doll. Human. Doll. Human. Doll. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? I worked in the games industry for five years. I needed this. If I was sold this, I'd fucking sue. Looks like <laughs> Oh, God. So essentially, he's... Well, not essentially. He's literally lying, telling people that he's a, a certified calibrator when he's not. He's not. Yeah. So is very much not. He says he's a master calibrator. Which he is, is no not a master calibrator. YouTube. He's scamming people. He's using your website to scam people. If anyone here doubts my allegations of fraud, then by all means, ask the real professionals what they think of quantum, and they'll tell you the same thing. The last dish on our plate might be the tastiest. Copyright abuse. Over the years, YouTube has made great strides in favor of protecting fair use content. I and many others truly commend them. The platform is way better than it used to be four years it ago. Is. However, there still exists one major easily exploitable flaw in the system. YouTube will never punish you for breaking the law and submitting fraudulent takedowns. Let's take another look at the legally binding document he filed against me and examine YouTube's verdict that this was a fair request for review. Again, I point out he was claiming copyright. If you write this, if you, if you file a complaint incomplete like this, it should be proof that you are 
basically doing a false claim, knowing it's a false claim. At which point, get the fuck off the platform, you're breaking the rules. ...of a video without sharing the video to YouTube, that's perjury. What he was claiming it is perjury. ownership of was Elden Ring Review. Which it wasn't. I also point out that he did not fill out the information required and also blatantly lied on this form, saying the video was not from YouTube. And... Uh, color me shocked because that's where everyone fucking saw it in the first place. This is more fraudulent than healthcare in America. Like, it's a claim made blatantly to harass me. And he gets away with it because YouTube allows people like Quantum to weaponize DMCAs for their own benefit. That's illegal. It this is. is where reason number- It is illegal no matter where in the world you are. In the UK, we do have fair use and everything- uh, similar to the U US copyright laws. We also have other things on top of that. For example, if this was tried in the UK, he would be done for hate speech, which is not a US thing, by the way. Might want to add that into your amendments. Um, but genuinely, freedom of speech does not exempt you from freedom of consequences. Number three for YouTube's verdict comes into effect. A hands-off approach. I don't want to deal with copyright. I, I, I'm not touching it. While I understand that it's, it's impractical for them to get involved in every legal dispute on the platform, YouTube is fully within their rights to determine how they punish individuals that file fraudulent claims meant to harass others. You don't enforce any punishment or repercussions. There is nothing to discourage people from doing it except the community rising up, pointing the finger and saying, that guy's a piece of shit. And how many of us have called him a piece of shit at this point? And how many of us are aware of him breaking the YouTube rules? And how many of us have pointed it out to YouTube that this bitch is point basically breaking all the fucking rules? Notice something really funny, by the way. He... I was expecting with my last video on the Act Man's video, uh, on my last Act Man video, I was expecting Quantum to basically be like, you 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 make content because I had clips from him. Act Man didn't copyright claim me. He would have been made aware of my YouTube video, and he didn't, because he's not a pussy or a bitch. He actually liked the video. That's the only thing that discourages people from doing it. I can only interpret YouTube's verdict that these were fair requests for review as a statement that anybody can file malicious takedowns for anything they want. If you made an Elden Ring review, you can submit a copyright strike against anybody else that has. It will be considered a fair request for review, and even if it doesn't go through with a strike, YouTube's wasting their time. That stresses people out, and anybody can do the same to you. Ain't yeah. that fucking scary? Funny point. On my on my on my other on my VODs channel, more Miss KTB, I got hit with a copyright strike for um watching um content uh from the Korean from the Korean bar uh, street food. I got hit with a copyright claim on that. Um, and the video got taken down. Even though technically speaking, it fell into fair use. I talked about it. I sat down and we had a conversation about it. The video got taken down and I got a strike. Not uploaded since I got that strike. It took them three weeks to hit me with a strike. And I was like, it makes so much more sense to just do a claim. Considering it's a five hour video and you, you, and you, you it was a five hour, it was like a four hour video. And it was, you were like 10 minutes of it. You did a strike because it in it, and I just don't want to upload to it anymore. When we're talking about a system that can lead to entire channels being terminated and years worth of work yeah. obliterated. Here's the thing. One of the reasons why I struggle to make content on YouTube is down to the fact that finding your own two feet on this platform is insanely hard. I have to, you have to wear your heart on your sleeve and you have to learn so much just to get in through the door. You base it with YouTube, with Twitch, it is you walk up to the door, you knock on the door, and they open the door and they let you in. And then after that, it's King of the Hill. Once you're through the door, it's King of the Hill. And guess what? The bigger channels always win. But 
it's more than possible for you to st- so you work your way up. Networking, conversation, etc., can help you get up that pyramid very comfortably. YouTube, YouTube's biggest superpower is its biggest enemy, and that is the algorithm. Meaning, you have to learn the algorithm. You have to learn what's popular. You have to look at trends, keep on top of trends. On top of that, on top of all of that, you need to also find your own two feet, find yourself, and basically hold yourself accountable for your own video content, hold yourself accountable for your own actions, and ensure the highest possible quality of work that comes out. YouTube is exceptionally difficult and one wrong step from from you, a minor small step, you could literally trip on the smallest of pebbles on YouTube and out of the word work comes someone like Quantum TV, copyright strike you and have all of your hard work taken down. And that is wrong. It should not be allowed. It should never be allowed on this platform. If it's transformative, it's fine. I do not understand where his problems lie. I would have thought, yo, this is just an advertisement. I'm going to brush this off and just say thanks for the video. And Again, move on. they say abuse of this tool may lead to the termination of your channel and under penalty of perjury. So my question... What exactly constitutes abuse of this tool? Quantum TV has also claimed that he only used the copyright ID tool to flag videos, take them down, and issue strikes. However, the copyright ID tool does not allow you to issue strikes to other creators. It is simply a means of identifying it. DMCAs have to be manually filed elsewhere. How much evidence do you need, YouTube? You could, I'm sure if you looked back in your own archives to see just how many claims and takedowns he's issued, you would quantify that as abuse. Maybe you could look into the archives of the chat he had with YouTube support where he blamed you for filing his false claims. Now let's take a look at some others. There was a DMCA he filed against Ninjitian where he tried to claim rights for cosplaying as Deadpool. Are you fucking kidding me? So Ninjitian cosplayed as Deadpool and then Quantum was like, yo, that's my thing. It's like basically, that's literally the equivalency of me trying to take down fucking Snuffy because she's a VTuber. Or or Zentria or fucking Shalili. Guess what? I don't own VTubing. I'm not going to fucking abuse it. So why is he capable of trying to take down a video? Because he copied your fucking cosplay. How pathetic are you? I'm not fucking kidding. And again, even fills out less information. Title of artwork, Deadpool cosplay skit. Type of artwork, photo. Is it a photo or a skit? Where does the content appear? Custom thumbnail. He submitted a takedown because someone, because Ninjitian probably used him wearing his Deadpool mask in a thumbnail. What the fuck? And you can see his rants going off on YouTube for not accepting the claim and taking down Ninjitian's video. I don't know what video this is, but Quantum also threatened this guy for as little as using his face in a thumbnail. He also took down one of Jolster's videos, and I can only assume it was for equally nefarious reasons. He filed one against Griffin Gaming. They had a whole dispute, and of course, Quantum acted like a giant prick. As per usual. Kept changing the goalposts, and you can watch that video to see all the details and private conversations he had with Griffin Gaming. There's also the deleted community post where Quantum claimed someone else was filing DMCA takedowns in his name. One of the problems I have on YouTube is I see copyrighted material. A new new Marvel movie drops, and my YouTube channel gets blasted with spoilers. I have wanted to basically raise is the problem of yo the new multiverse of madness just dropped there's like 20 videos on your recommended which you don't click or even look into but they're still fucking there because you still enjoy marvel let's place this everywhere you go to the video and like i would like to 
basically inform you that this person is releasing copyrighted material from a movie which got only just released into cinema and is them in the cinema recording it on their phones. I can't do that. I've tried. Guess what? I've had to basically accuse them, those channels, for spam. That's it. I basically, I've face, I've had, I've gone to channels before over hate speech issues, not directed to me, but for other people. It's, it's a huge task to undergo. Luckily, copyright for me, shit is so hard. I took, these links could still be seen, and if we type in this URL in particular, here's what shows up. This video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Quantum TV. So I also sent this to YouTube and here's what they said. We can't investigate these videos because they're no longer available. Yeah, no shit, I could have told you that. But then there's also mischief and it's like, if this is how many cases of abuse we have, how many haven't we seen? That's the good point. The crazy that you sit, the crazy that we have seen could literally be no less than the tip of the iceberg. We could literally be looking at Everest, but be seeing a molehill. We could literally be looking at a molehill going, damn, that crazy. And underneath the fucking molehill is fucking Everest for all we know. You'd think a guy who's this involved with other content creators uh, among disputes regarding copyright that maybe he's the common denominator in all of them? Maybe? Mm. I'm not talking about music companies or bigger corporations. On an individual level, when it comes to disputes between content creators, if copyright strikes can lead to the termination of someone else's channel, then they should also have the power to lead to the termination of yours if you abuse it. Everyone is so fucking sick of this bullshit. There has to be some punishment for filing false claims. In, his, in the current situation, do you know what I would do if I was YouTube? I would say we are putting them under permanent investigation and review moving forward. That's what I would do. If I was YouTube, I'd be like, we're aware of this problem. You've presented us with much evidence. We're going to keep them under review for the time being for at least the next six to 12 months. I guarantee to you, his ego will not let that slide. He won't even last six weeks. He'll basically be like, I need bullshit. I need some bullshit. I need to smell some farts. Let's cause some drama. And then basically go out of his way to bullshit some things, call, pull some fucking bullshit copyright claims and be like, <laughs> I'm back. This is, he needs his, he needs his weekly or monthly fix. And I would say to YouTube, put him under review, keep an eye on his shit or suppress his content like you do with the LGBT community. All right, so quick update. I had a whole section on cyberbullying and harassment. I've had to cut it from this video. I have a flight that uh, leaves in five hours. I haven't slept. I need to finish this video. So I will be doing a follow-up on the cyberbullying and harassment. I did kind of cover that in the copyright <laughs> abuse video. <laughs> the genuine fact that he has another video of this. Oh I my fucking day. on that for now. I hope what I've provided has been compelling. So now let's wrap up this extremely long video. So here's the rundown. By not enforcing their policies, YouTube is demonstrating a profound disinterest in punishing bad apples. People like Quantum TV absolutely do not deserve to have a platform anywhere online when they abuse their position to such a degree. The only platforms he should actually be allowed on is 4chan. The entire YouTube community has risen up and demanded justice. We do. You are the only one who can deliver it, YouTube. So make your choice. You can stick to your guns, side with hate, or you can terminate Quantum TV and prove you side with the community and genuinely want to make this a better place for everyone. I don't think it's a difficult decision. It is not a difficult decision. It is not. It, it is a rule for all, not one rule for one, and a different for everyone else. Either Quantum TV is sleeping with someone at YouTube, or they are literally being like, we can't do this because of some random bullshit reason. This whole affair has left me utterly disgusted and speechless by YouTube. They've lied to you, they've lied to me. Yep. Today, 
YouTube sided with hate. They it's did. going to be interesting to see what kind of Pride Month promotion YouTube does, while at the same time giving a platform to a guy who genuinely believes more people should have been killed in the second deadliest mass shooting in American history. It's going to be interesting. It I is. I think I've made my case on this matter pretty goddamn clear. And yep. yet, at the end of my last video, everyone was already in agreement. They knew he should be banned. They, he you should. You know why? Because the YouTube community doesn't want to be associated with that level of craziness. I, I, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Like I said throughout the video, Quantum TV needs to be taken off the platform. He is a shite representation of... He is a terrible representation of this of YouTube. He should not be given a medium to express his homophobic, transphobic, high-level, straight, fucking deranged shit. Like, I swear to fuck, he needs to be removed to make this platform safe. We see it. Why can't you, YouTube? Why can't you basically acknowledge that Quantum TV is a problem? Put him under review. Keep him, un keep him under surveillance for the next six months or so. And basically hold him accountable for his actions. Simply removing a link should not, I repeat, should not counter legal claims. Ever. It should never do that. You should not be able to get away with murder just because you threw the gun away. Simple as. Just genuinely simple as that. It is a rule for all, not one rule for one and another for everyone else. Hold yourselves accountable for everything on your platform. He is the worst point. He is going to be worse moving forward. You have given him permission at this point to continue to berate other creators, smaller creators, bigger creators. You've basically given him full reign to copyright claim, to be transphobic, to be homophobic, to be basically one of the biggest psychopaths this platform has. You need to be held accountable. He needs to be held accountable. Because I guarantee you, he is going to do something worse next. And then you will be held accountable. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Do your job, YouTube. Do your job. <laughs>